Hi, this is Peter Stanley. Welcome to my channel. Today is Sunday, May the 3rd in uh, 2020, and this is my bi-weekly grow update. Most of my plants put out, but um, this is a cutting that I took. It's got roots in my planted soon. This is a langria and a white bikinia. So I still have these uh, crosses in DWC. Um, they need a nutrient change. I'm hoping to move them out soon. This is a Lindsay Cross of White Ties. It's got a bunch of peppers on it. Um, this is a Malagetta Cross with White Tie. And then back here is a Lindsay Cross with White Tie. Also, uh, sorry, Lindsay Cross with Sangria, also known as Lingria. And plan to get all of these moved outside and maybe some large cracky setups soon. Okay, most of these look pretty much, well, they're a little farther along than last update, but they get ready, ready to put these out. Show a few of these. This is a Blue Christmas. Um, the Sand Peach. Batman Big Bat Red. This is a Faria. I think it's like a Scotch Bonnet type. Chupatino Peach, California Reaper, this is a Drama Queen, Old School Boot from Jimmy Johnson, another from Jimmy Johnson, LTS Boot Fino, a few others here, um, this is a Lemon Starburst, it's a King Star Cross, this is a Chocolate Bootless CS, it's a Chad Selesky strain. Look at some of these here. This is an ancient sweet. Ghostly jalapeno. This is a peri peri. Thai yellow long. Another blue Christmas. Some pretty cool ones in here. It's a Bonda Majak cross. Ahi Chochamba. Some Ahi Chamba. This is a Shishito cross with Stavros. This is one of my crosses. I call it, I call it um, Sweet Shito. This is a Reaper Tally. Got a Lemon Starburst here. Um, in the software container. This is like th my three year old plant, so it's going to grow out again. These are a lot of the smaller ones. Kind of add them together. They're, they're doing okay. And so these are all the buckets I'm going to use on the drip system. Most of these are five gallon containers. I've got two 17 gallon. I'm going to try this year. And this is my potting mix material. Um, so, my basic formula, I've mentioned it before, but like a 2.8 or 3 cubic foot bag of like a peat based potting mix. You can see this one's torn up. And, you know, that looks. And then I mix in a one cubic foot bag of compost manure. And then I'll add like some extra perlite to offset the compost manure because it doesn't have any. And normally I get this cheaper stuff from Southern Ag, but they were outside to get this from Lowe's. It costs a little bit more, but I've heard good things about Black Cow. So I'm going to use that. And and I've got some Triple 14 Osmocote to all in for fertilizer and add some um, extra bone meal. And I've got another product too. It's, uh, it's called trace elements or something. I'll show a bag of it later. It's in the basement. But um, I'm going to add some of that as well. So I'm going to add a second leg on my drip line, off my main drip line for these three gallon containers. I just kind of set them set here now. So I have four here. And then I'm going to siphon along here. And these are just three gallon nursery pots that I happen to have that I got free from a nursery. They're throwing them away. I've had these for a few years. So so these plants shouldn't get it as big as big, but they should do fine. I've grown in them before and 
this should be okay. So, so about my next update, I hope to have at least, at least all or most of these set up. Plan to start putting them out full time uh, next starting next week after Mother's Day. That's generally our outside safe to put outside time. So then I'll post an update a week after that, show you how they look. Anyway, that's my update. Um, hope you like that. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.